Hey guys, and welcome to a battle featuring the legendary Raptor and an ice-themed Norsken build. Looking particularly badass here, up against Lolly and his Skaven forces. So let's slow this one down into some slow motion and go quickly through the build. So it looks like Raptor's certainly having some fun on quick play here, and uh, bringing a pretty wild and wacky build. And the front line, he does have cheap and cheerful marauders dotted all the way along in a nice long la battle line there. And these are the only units in the entire build which do not do ice damage or I suppose have the ice effect to slow down the enemy. So cheap cheer from Marauders along the front line who have been uh, gathered together here and to uh, follow Frog and his mighty ice horde. So of course Frog is going to be leading the charger coming in with the Windtooth crown as well which is very powerful making everything around him unbreakable for a limited duration. He has fight or die but more importantly he has frostbite slowing the enemy speed down by 36% which is certainly no joke. Up in the skies, we do have double Frostworm as well, both coming with that Frostbite as well. And these guys are pretty decent and honestly a little bit underrated. I don't see them terribly often and they can certainly pack a punch. Nowhere near the strength of a dragon, but at the same time, coming with Frost Breath, anything which flies and has a breath attack can be pretty potent and deadly in the correct hands, in my opinion. Now, it looks like we do have a ton of Norsken Ice Wolves as well. Two over on this right-hand side and two on the left-hand flank. These bad boys are incredibly quick, do pretty decent damage, especially when working as kind of a pack, and they can swarm the enemy and certainly get onto those backline tools the Skaven do often bring. It looks like we have one unit of Norsken Ice Trolls as well, helping out the main contingent. And over on the right-hand flank, Double Marauder Ice Wolf Chariots. Now, these light chariots are something I wish we saw a little bit more often, as they're you know, very quick, mobile, great at harassing the enemy lines, especially troops like Skaven, who are quite easily pushed over and don't have too much mass. And of course, these guys come with Frostbrite as well. So really fun, quite meme build, but at the same time, certainly has some teeth to it. Now, for the Skaven forces, looks like in a very strange, uh, deployment here. We have Skaven Slingers in the front line and they battle line mixed up of Clam Rats and Skaven Slaves. So again, very cheap and cheerful for the most part. We do have some Storm Vermin mixed in as well as some Plague Monk Sensor Bearers, which I quite like the inclusion of some elite troops in a uh, cheap front line. It uh, kind of makes your opponent uh, think a little bit more about where they do pressure and it helps them hold a little while longer as well. Over on this right hand flank where they help it abomination and then we have triple uh Warp Lightning Cannon. So one, two, three, and the Skaven Slaves saturated on top of them as well, looking to protect them from throwing axe, javelin fire, and as well to try to help protect them from any sneaky doggos in the back lines. And we also have another unit of Storm Vermin, as well as Lord Skrulk here, coming in here with a huge amount of spells. Stand your ground, Pestilent Birth, uh, Plague, Vermintide, Wither, all that good stuff. So coming with a ridiculous large amount of uh, spells, which I don't think is the most cost effective, as you're certainly not going to be able to use them all, but uh, we'll have to see how he does perform here. I'd uh, definitely like to see his battle line as well push out a little bit, make a little bit more distance between the front line and the warp line in cannons, because as soon as this front line is engaged, the uh, cannons aren't going to be particularly useful at shooting anything directly in front of them, and uh, if they break through the front line, they're instantly going to be able to hop on top of the artillery pieces, but perhaps he'll move forward as the battle does commence. In comes a breath attack, trying to snipe out one of the warp lightning cannons, but it looks like it does indeed survive, hitting the crew instead. And one frostworm has already been forced off the field, and it's a relatively expensive beast, especially with that chevron up. The other one, though, looks like it is going once again in for a warp lightning cannon and destroying an artillery piece this time, getting a little bit better value. As the Norsegal Ice Wolves do come in, and somehow one of the other units finds a gap in its very kind of solid Skaven build. And or front line, sorry, and just to sneak around, but is now being pinned in by clan rats with spears. But the wolves are feasting quite happily, terrifying off some of the slaves as well because of the frost worm's presence. And it looks like chariots are now darting in and out, although this one is getting caught up a little bit here, taking a considerable amount of damage. But they can force the warp lining cannons to be silent for a little while and allow frog and these other troops to enter. It could be a pretty bad for the skaven. Over on this flank, Norsegan Ice Trolls are taking a bit of damage up against Clan Rats with Spears as well as the Plague Monk Sensor Bearers, but they're one of the best units the Norsegans have brought to deal with these guys, hammer down those uh, naked fanatics where possible. And the front line, a nice summon from the Skaven player of the Plague Monks, with a bless with filth gone down as well, a huge pool of uh, forces. They're really going to chew through these Marauders quite comfortably here. Frostworm at number two, however, is uh, quite happily flying up in the sky. We can see number number one, unfortunately, has perished in the distance. 
Help here, Abomination is quite happily going to chug down some Marauders, but it's very out of position. And also helping protect the Warp Line and Cannons, which was such a huge investment into this Skaven build. And as you can see, as I kind of feared from their deployment, they have been swarmed here. And a lot of the uh, kind of Skaven forces are being forced off. Frog and the uh, Ice Wolves are hunting quite happily at the moment. More chariots starting in the back line, pushing through these filthy storm vermin. And trying to, uh, once again, shut down the warp line and cannon. Looks like they uh, have been afflicted here with something. What was that? Looks like, oh, their rage has kicked off. The Lure of Pestilence as well is going to be lowering them down a little bit. But they're going to be falling back now. Probably a good idea to hop on top of these returning Skaven slaves. And that's one of these things these chariots are so good at. They have a good utility in kind of multiple areas, pushing to the back line, but also hunting down... Uh, rallying troops. It looks like Norsk and Ice Wolves are doing the same, feasting on some of the clan rats here in the distance. Helper Abomination is actually struggling to take down these Marauders. I suppose the longer they're in combat, the more their uh, Berserk Rage mechanics is going to kick in, and they become more and more tanky of that physical resistance. As for the main battle line, both forces have taken a bit of a battering, but Skaven certainly on the back foot here, as Ice Wolves do hunt down a large portion of their troops, and the Warp Lining Cannons have all been completely shut down, Frog quite happily here chewing on some clan rats. And the Frostum as well. Lovely cycle charge coming in by Raptor to uh, consistently pressure Lord Scroke, who's you know, still having a whale of a time hunting down Marauders and routing them as well. But Big Papa Frog is here and he'll certainly be able to connect with Lord Scroke. And he's a fantastic combatant to take on the uh, pesky Lord himself. The kind of large entities such as the Frostworm tend to fling him over. And it's kind of hard to pin him down, but Frog should have no troubles being the uh, perfect size to obliterate him there. Over on this flank, the uh, Plague Monks have done surprisingly well up against the Ice Trolls, who are down to about half health. With the uh, Frostworm support here, the uh, Plague Monks are certainly doomed at this point. There's a lot of rallying Skaven troops around the distance, and the Hell Pit Abomination is still relatively healthy, but again, it should have used its mass to pull through these Marauders, get back here and help protect uh, Lord Scroke, as well as those Warp Lightning Cannons. As it looks like it's pretty much game over at this point. Balance Power is pulling ahead for the Norskans. It's kept relatively even because of the amount of Skaven troops that are rallying here. But they're going to be coming back in bits and pieces and that's certainly not what you want. You want to be fighting as a unified force. In come the Ice Trolls to, to uh, guard the Frost Realm here in its mission to destroy Lord Scroke. He's done a pretty good job. Scroke is the ever crafty one, however, and he's going to be trying to pull out where possible. Roller Ice Wolf Chariots, as more, as war, war, more wolves as well, do come in to chew on the Skaven Slaves, and they simply do not have the leadership here to deal with these ferocious beasts. I always thought wolves in general should have better stats than they do. I understand why they don't, but a wolf coming at you is a pretty scary thing all round, honestly, especially if they're uh, made of or have the aura of ice around them. I certainly won't wouldn't want to tangle with any of them myself. Looks like one of the units is pretty much done for and spent here, but it is on 93 kills, and they're not doing too bad, but Storm Vermin are more than a match for those pesky doggos. Marauders are going to be coming in as well, though, trying to pin in the enemy. They do kind of have that lovely bonus of leadership as well. If we go over here, do these guys, they've been in combat the entire time, so I assume their rage is pretty insane. Looks like there's just the plus 8 leadership here, maybe the other stuff doesn't actually pop up on the tool tip here. Those marauders have finally been dealt with, but at, by this point, the Skaven forces are in full retreat, as the uh, Ice Wolf chariots are going to be hunting them down as well. The only bastion of strength is the Storm Vermin down here, who are not even sure they're going to trade very cost-effectively up against marauders, despite the points difference. And we do have the Hell Pit Abomination over in the distance, but I expect this leadership to struggle soon. The uh, more damage it takes, it can easily outdraw the Frost Worm, but not with the Ice Trolls here, and the Mighty Frog, who is an absolute beast at taking out single entities. One or two swings from his mighty club will fell the beast. As its uh, leadership does start to break here, looks like Army Losses is starting to set in. He has been frostbitten now as well. Going down with a fight, they're up to 63 kills. Trying to scrap it out with those ice trolls. The frog is going to push right in and a big overhanded swing there crushes the spirit of the Hell Pit Abomination and a Pyrrhic victory for the Norskans there. So well played to both of these lads. I think Lolly was uh, possibly a bit more of a newer player. And uh, obviously Raptor was just having some fun with a pretty memey build. So obviously this isn't a kind of serious competitive game. But it was a really fun one regardless. And it's still nice as well to see new players coming into the game. And uh, giving it their all on the multiplayer ladder. And overall I don't actually hate the build too much at all. My one problem with it is uh, kind of the over-reliance of Warp Lightning Cannons. 
as a, kind of the triple artillery, he certainly had enough to protect them, but they were kind of his only anti-large tools in reality. I mean, Clarence of Spears, technically, you know, they have the Spears, but uh, they don't have enough AP to, you know, force down a mammoth or the like. And the uh, Hell Pit Abomination, who could have helped with those single entities, was kind of dragged away to the side. So there was so much reliance on the warp line and cannons, and because of the formation being kind of a rigid line in front of them, it was really easy to push through and then swamp the warp lines, as well as get round the rear and uh, do some serious damage to them as well. If you kind of onion laid a little bit more, I think would be a bit better having several uh, layers of defense for the enemy to work through, so they beat down the Skaven Slaves, they hop onto the Clan Rats who hold a little while longer, and whilst they're holding, you rally the Slaves and they come back again, making another battle line, and you just grind down the enemy while the Warp Lightning Cannons do some solid work. But still, also some good promising plays as well, loving the Plague Monk Summon in the front line to chew through the Marauders. So very well played as well. As for Raptor's Forces, obviously going for, probably maybe inspired by the Dowie Fire Builds we've been doing on the channel recently, he's actually gone for a Norskan Ice Build, which is certainly very cool and thematic here and some massive kills across the board of course one frostworm did get absolutely floored still got 39 kills with the breath attack but it was only on skaven slaves and the like and the real mvps here those norskan ice wolves did ridiculous kills across the board hopping in there getting the rear attack which obviously gives a bigger negative leadership on top of these low leadership skaven forces anyway and then chasing down and hunting them down and just feasting quite happily anyway guys hope you did enjoy this pretty crazy game if you did feel Feel free to give the video a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more Total War Warhammer content. And feel free to comment as well. I do read them all and I do get back to them all eventually as well. I really enjoy them. Some of the ones in the last video are actually hilarious. The um, Lizard Man one might be two videos ago now where... Uh, you, you go look. Go watch the video. There's some really funny stuff in there anyway. Until next time guys, peace, peace and stay awesome.